Demodishi Associates are one of the best structural and temporary works design engineers in the UK. We also specialise in designs of crane foundations and crane tie supports. Tower cranes are used to lift materials and equipment that facilitate the construction of all high-rise buildings. When this building is finished, it will be 36 floors. At the start of construction, the initial erection height of the crane was 24 floors. The crane technicians are here today to add extra crane ties to level 30, so work can be done on the higher levels. Crane tie support design is one of the most complex temporary works designs. DMA have introduced some remarkable innovations into the design of crane tie supports. There are normally three crane ties. The layout is such that tie 1 and tie 2 share the same single supporting post, and tie 3 has its own independent post. This arrangement minimises the magnitude of axle loads in the ties. However, tie 1 and 2 coming together introduces another load to the design called torsion along the axis of the post. We discarded this conventional method and rearranged the tie layout so that each tie has its own post. This eliminates torsion and allows us to specify an easy to source flanged section. Also, the windows of the building are quite small and would have clashed with ties 1 and 2 if they were joined. Another innovation we introduced is a floating joint between the base plates. Conventionally, a welded stiff or semi-stiff connection would have been used. Today, the crane is going to be climbed, and which means that new ties are going to be installed in this uh, crane post support to support the crane. Typically in steel post base brake connection, it's normally welded all around, you weld the shaft of the post to the base plate. But in this case, that's not what we did because if you do it like that, it's going to generate movement. And this slab is designed to support residential loads. It's not designed to support crane loads. So what we had to do is to use the rib connection system so uh, this post is locked in between this socket. We created this socket to lock it in so that the moment generated will be dissipated. Instead of designing for the moment, we designed it out. Maximum axial load through this tie are 760 kilonewton, which is around 77 tons. So 77 tons is being uh, sent through the crane ties to the pin and to the bracket, and the bracket transfers that load to the post. So 77 tons is being shared between top slab and the bottom slab through this post. This is another unique design undertaken by De Medici Associates. We are available for all kinds of structural and temporary work designs. Contact us today.